Orange Pi 5 is a single board computer that uses the new generation 8 core 64 bit processor, Rockchip RK3588S. It uses a GPU ARM Mali G610 and is available in 4, 8, 16, and 32 gigs of RAM. It features a gigabit LAN port, a USB 3.0, and full size HDMI 2.1 a micro SD card slot and an NVMe card slot you can use either for storage or a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth combo card. The specs look very good on paper but I'm excited to see how it performs. Today I will install Debian Bullseye and Casa OS on a 256GB M.2 NVMe SSD on the Orange Pi 5. Casa OS is a community-based open-source software that lets you install and manage apps on Docker using a graphical interface. For someone like me, it is interesting to see what I can do with it, and what issues I can solve using this OS. We begin with downloading Debian Bullseye Server from the Orange Pi website. Links are in the description below. It will open Google Drive where you can download XFCE or the server version. I will be using it to run Casa OS, and I don't need a desktop so I will download the server version. Once it is downloaded, extract the file before flashing it onto the microSD card. I previously tried imaging the zip file without extracting using Bellina Etcher, but it did not work. I got the error that the zip file was missing partition data, so I tried extracting it first before flashing, and it worked. Flash the OS onto the microSD card. Once Bellina Etcher finishes flashing, insert the microSD card into the Orange Pi 5 and boot. SSH into the Orange Pi to run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Once that is done, we will now flash the same Debian Bullseye OS, this time onto the NVMe SSD. Again using Bellina Etcher, select the same Debian OS and this time, select the NVMe SSD drive. Confirm your selection to proceed. Once flashing is complete, install the NVMe drive onto the Orange Pi 5. I also took this opportunity to also install the heatsink, thermal pads and fan for extra cooling onto the Orange Pi 5. The heatsink came with an aluminum bottom plate which is mounted with a spacer, mainly to protect the NVMe. I did not install it at this time, I was thinking to add airflow to the bottom and to the SSD. Plus I am planning on swapping out the SSD from time to time so I did not see the use to cover it. The heatsink came with a 5V fan, we will connect the positive to one of the 5V GPIO pins near the top right of the orange pie, and the negative to the ground pin next to it. The pin definition is available on the Orange Pi website for reference. Once everything is assembled, we can log back in via SSH to configure the Orange Pi to boot directly to the NVMe SSD. Keep in mind, right now we are still booting into the microSD card. We are just using the microSD card until we can configure the Orange Pi to boot into the SSD. Type sudo fdisk-l to list the available drives on the Orange Pi. You should see the 16MB SPI drive as well as your NVMe SSD. Install gdisk if not yet installed by typing sudo apt-get install-y install gdisk. Then sudo apt update.
Now type sudo g disk slash dev slash mtd block zero. Type p to check if there are existing partitions. To install the bootloader type sudo orange pi dash config. Select system, then select install. Then select number 7, install update the bootloader on the SPI flash. Click OK then confirm your selection. This will take a few minutes. Once the process is done it will kick you back to system settings. You can just click back, then exit. Shut down the Orange Pi 5 so you can remove the micro SD card. When we reboot we should now be logging into the NVMe drive. Type sudo update and sudo upgrade to update and upgrade the OS on the SSD drive. Now we can install Casa OS. Go to the Casa OS website, links are in the descriptions below. SSH into the Orange Pi, the IP address will most likely be different from the IP address we previously logged into when the Orange Pi was booted using the micro SD card. Login is Orange Pi, password is also Orange Pi. Copy and paste the script on the Casa OS website to install Casa OS. Type sudo update and sudo upgrade to update and upgrade. I should have done the update and upgrade before installing Casa OS, but I forgot in my excitement. Hopefully it does not affect anything. Once the upgrade is complete we can go to our web browser and type in the IP address of the Orange Pi. Here it will prompt you to create your account, enter username, password, then confirm password. I got an error when I clicked on the App Store, maybe because I updated and upgraded after I installed Casa OS. No big deal, we just have to fix it. Go to the Casa OS wiki, we need to follow the legacy App Store instructions to retrieve the App Store. Links are in the descriptions below. Follow the instructions on the website, go to troubleshooting, then select app does not load. SSH back into the orange pie. Run the first script to get the authorization key. Paste it somewhere so you can copy it later. Then copy and paste the second script into the terminal, replacing the authorization key. Then when it's done, I can reboot the orange pie. Logging back in via the web browser we can see now the App Store is fixed and is showing the whole catalog. We can now install apps from here, or migrate existing apps from another Docker install. And if the app you need is not available here, we can also do a custom install. Casa OS has an integrated search bar that you can configure to run your preferred search engine. It also lets you manage users, configure user interface including language and wallpaper, and set up widgets that you may find useful. Managing files also looks easy with drag and drop options available. I like the interface, it almost feels like the designers took out a page from the Apple Playbook. But more important than the look and feel, I'm curious to find out how it performs long term. I'll try to come up with a long term review video in the near future. For now, let's install Jellyfin and see what's needed to set it up on Casa OS, and also, how it runs on the Orange Pi 5. Seems that installing apps only requires that you click on the app, at least for the apps that are available on the App Store. And it does not take much time to install. Clicking on the Jellyfin icon brings you to the login page so you can set up user. And configure your library, which is standard fare when you're running your own media center. A movies folder is already created by default on Casa OS, so all I have to do is point Jellyfin to the right folder so it can read my media files. Then I can just drag and drop my files from my local folder to Casa OS.
and it's uploaded in no time. Going back to Jellyfin, let's try the playback performance of our setup. Let me just complete logging into Jellyfin first. Here we can see the movie we uploaded to Casa OS is showing up properly. And playback running great. Watch out for future videos on the Orange Pi 5 and Casa OS. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.